good morning from Singapore. I've been um, doing a lot of testing lately for the testing branch, which is now the new stable branch uh, called Jesse. And I'm just about to release that to to everyone who's been on Wheezy, the old stable. And I'm just looking to test uh, Jesse on as many machines as I can find. And I just tested it on my wife's MacBook uh, Pro. So this is Jesse. I've got it loaded on a USB stick. So what I'm going to do here is get it running on my wife's MacBook Pro in live mode. So this does not touch her existing data or anything like this. It's it's running just on the stick, and this can serve as an example. Is um, you know, it's 2015. A lot of people do have Macs um, in their workplace, and I want to demonstrate to you that Web Converger can run temporarily on those Macs, turn those Macs into maybe um, a lockdown test center just for a day, something like that, and you can do that with Web Converger on. Macintosh Intel machines. So let me just show you how. So this is the wireless Mac. Um, okay, the big caveat here is wireless is not yet working. So I have a USB wireless, uh, a wired USB dongle here, and the internet's coming in through here. So here's a USB stick. Unfortunately, the Macs aren't very. Um, generous with the, with the USB ports. But here we go, you turn it on, you hold down the Alt key, holding it down, holding on. Now you get an option between the normal boot or booting from, uh, well it says Windows, but actually is this USB key with Web Converger preloaded on it. So um, all you do is boot from the uh, USB key. Doesn't touch that disk, just boots from that disk in live mode. Uh, press enter. And there you have the familiar web converger menu. Uh, it's fine just to leave it as default. If you want to have a specific language, you can do that. But um, install would um, erase what's on that drive. Don't want to do that. Just testing. And testing with the default is absolutely fine. Does not touch the data there. Wife will not kill me. So you might notice in the new Jesse that we have this new little default progress uh, loading thing uh, instead of the sort of line that goes along there. I think this suits our new sort of neutral sort of enterprisey brand that we have right now. Okay, and then it's um, looking for the network. The blinky lights should be on. Blinky lights look on. And this um, computer is not configured, so it just should just boot to the normal configuration page. So there you have it. And um, of course from there you can configure it to uh, how you want. Um, or you could just use it unconfigured. Oh, I failed to mention that um, sound works and, uh, you know, the, uh, I wonder if you can hear that. Oh, and one more thing, most importantly, is like you might be wondering, oh, but how do I reset it to how it was before? With live mode, the great thing is you don't even have to um, shut it down. Um, so you can just uh, you can just hold down the power button, turn it off. Uh, right now you might get some strange debug messages. You <laughs> that didn't happen. Whip out the key, press power button again. No need to hold down Alt or anything strange. It just boots up to Mac, just like how it was before. Data has not been touched. Machine has been temporarily been a web converger kiosk testing the machine, web sign, whatever, and now it's back to how it once was. Okay, so I hope that was super clear and easy um, and gives you all the confidence for you to, to give uh, Web Converger a try yourself. Any questions, I'm really, really happy to help. Goodbye now.